Understanding Retroverted Uterus During Pregnancy Hello and welcome to our comprehensive video on the topic of a retroverted uterus during pregnancy. Today, we will be answering two important questions. Is a retroverted uterus common in pregnant women, and how does it affect baby growth? What is a retroverted uterus? Firstly, it's important to understand what we mean by a retroverted uterus. A retroverted uterus, also known as a tilted or tipped uterus, is a naturally occurring variation in the position of the uterus within the pelvis. In most women, the uterus normally tilts forward at the cervix, toward the belly. But in about 20% to 30% of women, the uterus tilts backward, which is what we refer to as being retroverted. Is a retroverted uterus common in pregnancy? Given the fact that a retroverted uterus is seen in about 20% to 30% of women, it's not unusual for women with this condition to become pregnant. Therefore, while it is less common than an antiverted, forward-tilting, uterus, a retroverted uterus is fairly common and usually doesn't impact the ability to conceive or carry a pregnancy to term. How does a retroverted uterus affect baby growth? The good news is, in the vast majority of cases, having a retroverted uterus does not negatively affect baby growth. During the first trimester, the uterus is still small enough to comfortably sit within the pelvis in any orientation. By the second trimester, as the uterus grows, it typically rotates to a more middle position, regardless of its initial orientation. Occasionally, some women with a significantly retroverted uterus may experience what is known as incarceration. This is when the growing uterus becomes trapped in the pelvis, which can cause discomfort and urinary symptoms. However, this is extremely rare and affects only about 1 in 3,000 pregnancies. So to conclude, having a retroverted uterus is quite common and usually doesn't affect the growth of your baby or the progression of your pregnancy. If you are experiencing any discomfort or symptoms, you should always contact your healthcare provider. Remember, Every pregnancy is unique and it's important to stay informed and communicate openly with your healthcare provider. Thank you for watching this video and we hope it has been helpful.